All right, we're back at it again, doing another Cariosity video. You guys are Cariosity. familiar with these. That is not gonna be the jingle, but it's and good. Hold the note. Close. Um, so we're, yeah, we're inside the Tesla Model 3. And we should be outside. Why should we be outside, Miles? Because that's how we start these videos. We show the outside of the car, and then we show the inside of the car. You're absolutely right. Except so let's go this on. time. Why not? Because this is a Tesla. People want to know what's on the inside of a Tesla. Frankly, there's there's two things on the inside of a Tesla. There's a steering wheel and a big old tablet. That literally looks like a computer. Well, it is. It's It's got the power of a computer, that's for sure. All right, well, you want to see what it can do? Can we move? Watch. Now we're moving. We're not moving. <laughs> now we're moving. Whoa. Literally sounds exactly. Like yeah, that's nothing. insane. It's the power. I still put on my seatbelt though. <laughs> it is a moving vehicle. I'm gonna be honest. I've had. I've never been in a Tesla before. Yeah. And. Um, well, I've never been outside of your complex. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> no, right. You go right, right here. Yeah. Right. That is correct. I'm yes. Going right. So I've never been inside of a Tesla before. Uh huh. Uh, so this is my first look. Uh, this is my first time. Um, and it feels a little odd. Why? It's just, have you seen that movie Minority Report with uh, Tom Cruise? Um, their cars in the movie are automated and he just gets in one and there's like a really crazy chase scene even though it's automated but the government's like forcing him to go somewhere. At any rate, this feels similar to that because- We're being it, chased. Yeah. yeah, I totally understand. If you look here guys, there's the dash and I'm used to seeing some sort of speedometer, like, tachometer, exactly. yeah. that kind of stuff. And it's all on this crazy screen, which looks like a computer screen. It is very much a computer screen, but it operates like a smartphone. This gentleman is not using the crosswalk, and the car would have stopped itself if he had chosen to walk towards the car, but thank goodness he did not, sir, use the crosswalk. <laughs> so it just pinches and zooms, so quick, That's like look at the responsiveness of this. This is amazing. That honestly reminds me of like an iPad. And all of your car functions can be controlled from in here. If I want to control the mirrors and steering wheel, like the, the telescoping of the steering wheel, I hit that button and then I change the mirrors based on the, the little buttons here on the steering wheel. It's crazy. Dang. Yeah. Um, would you say that it's intuitive? I would, yes. Okay. So I would probably use that word, intuitive. That's the one thing when it comes to all of these types of vehicles that are heavily, how, what would you call this? Techified? Is it overcomplicated just to be overcomplicated yeah. yeah. or is it actually easy to use and advanced? Yeah. And I think that's exactly what this car is. 